Hey YouTubers, welcome back to our Desert Have a Garden. I would like to show you a little update on eggplant and okra today. This here is an eggplant and you can see it's only about six inches tall, maybe eight inches, some of it's under the mulch there. And this plant has been planted for about five months now. It's very small growth, um, hasn't really flourished, but I did have cow peas planted right next to it and they were starting to shade it out and they were likely competing for nutrients in the soil and water. So I made the decision to tear out the cow peas in order to give this guy a better chance. And I tore out the plants and I just threw them over here. I'm going to include them in the mulch. It's got cloth diapers flying off in the wind. I'll do another video on the cloth diapers in case anybody's interested in using those. And then here is another of the eggplant. Now, I planted probably 15 eggplants this year, and these are the only two that have even gotten this established. So I'm hoping that with a little more light in this spot here, I had to pull out three cowpea plants. And the cowpeas have been producing. They've been one of the most productive things in our garden this spring, but I wanna give the eggplants a chance. I've never grown eggplant before, and I haven't been a huge fan, but this variety was supposed to be not bitter at all, and it was supposed to have delicate seeds instead of the crunchy ones with the hard skins that you find in the grocery store that have the dark purple skins. These were going to be a nice lightish purple to a white color. And then the second thing I wanted to show you is the okra. This is another plant I've never grown, but this plant has just been thriving in the heat. It shot up and is looking great and healthy. And look here, look at that. That is a huge okra. Here's my hand for comparison. But it's firm, it's soft, it looks good. And then here are a bunch more coming in. So I hope that now that this plant is established, we're going to see a lot more okra. It's only about three feet tall right now, but these plants can get well over eight feet tall. And so now that it's right there in the sun, it's enjoying the heat, these plants are supposed to really like the heat. This variety is Buck's Bighorn, so that's a really big okra fruit that'll grow on it. I have a few more okra plants, but they're just getting shaded out by the tomatillo. I don't even know where it is back here. I can't even see it. And then in another bed, these are my other okra plants. Now they haven't shot up quite as quickly, but I am getting some growth on them. This area over here doesn't get much shade. Right now it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. And usually by 1.30 or 2, this bed is in shade. And I know that the okra really like a lot of sun. So that might be a problem. Next year I'll have to rethink how I do this planting. But now that I see that I'm getting some okra fruit, that's pretty exciting to me. My kids have never tried it before, and now they'll get to have some from our own garden. I'll probably make a gumbo or something with it if I can get a couple more going. That's my update for today on eggplant and okra. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates.